HAP Housing is planning to build on Mill Street in Agawam. There's so many issues involved in it. It's just the wrong place. No one in the neighborhood was notified that there was going to be a huge 60 to 70 building complex or unit complex being built in a residential neighborhood around 1950s and these older 1800 homes. Main concerns include how many people will be moving in across the street and what type of income they'll have. The 12 and a half acre farm at 586 Mill Street has been vacant for several years with no one living in the house since the owners passed away. It's been passed down generation to generation and HAP Housing recently purchased the property for $567,450. 22 News spoke with the project manager about potential tenants. We want to just clear up who's going to be, you know, who are the type of people that are going to be living in this development. And it's really just, you know, your your neighbors. Shields said a median income of an individual resident would be thirty-three to thirty-five thousand dollars. She considers that moderate income. Anybody below eighty percent of area median income would be considered low income. Um, and for this area, that's $60,000 a year. So it's really just um, the, the terminology doesn't really match up with the practical definition. Neighbors across the street say the sheer number of people will be a problem. Look at the narrow road. This is a narrow country road. This area has been farmlands for forever. HAP Housing will be looking at site development plans with architects these next couple of weeks.